the name of the game should be fairly good for SEO. Uh, that's search engine optimization, or sometimes it's called app store uh, engine optimization, I believe. So, um, or app store optimization, ASO. So the name of the game is really important. If we have a game which is like a sniper game or um, some, some game that uses guns, then relate it to that. Don't call, like if this game, say the girlfriend in the game was called Cassie, I wouldn't call the game Cassie. One is because nobody's probably searching for the word Cassie in the app store. Like when they actually type in a search, you have to choose the words carefully uh, and make the title something that you think that the players would type in. So Killer Shooting Sniper X, um, I think people would type in Sniper, I think people would type in Shooting, maybe they would type X for some kind of adult thing, maybe. Uh, but definitely make it relate to the game as well, just because if you see the name of the game, you instantly know, oh, it's a killer, it's a sniper game, it's a gun game. I like it, okay, I'll download it and I'll check it out. Um, so let me just go down to my next one. Oh yeah, so maybe add a describer as well. So the full name of this game, Killer Shooting Sniper X, is the top game for Clear Vision training. Now, Clear Vision is a, a very famous game on the App Store, uh, which is a sniper game, which did very well. And it, this this actually inspired Killer Shooting Sniper X. And the name of the game, basically, this is a describer. We're not copying, this isn't the name of the game, Clear Vision Training. Um, and it, there's no affiliation with the company. We're just saying, hey, it improves your skills in this game. Uh, and that's no problem uh, on, on uh, in terms of actually using that in, inside the title of the game. You just say, hey, it improves your skills in this game. So next one, uh, keywords related to other games, quite famous. Yeah, so when we add, or when you add keywords into the game in iTunes, when you actually uh, are adding the description and choosing the keywords, always make sure those keywords relate to the game itself. So uh, I would include things like gun or uh, battle. I would also say other words, uh, for example, like Battlefield, which is a famous FPS game. It's likely that players who like Battlefield will also like this game. Uh, uh, if, if they are uh, more hardcore players who are into, into gun games. So you can do that as well. Uh, just be careful if you do add other famous name games in the keywords. If you do too many, recently Apple has started to crack down on that. Uh, especially if it doesn't relate to the game. So for example, uh, uh, Killer Shooting Sniper X, we wouldn't add Smurfs in there. Uh, because... It, it doesn't have any relation and somebody at Apple would see that and then cancel the keyword. They would, might approve the game then, but you've only got, you had 100 characters for your free words, but they've cancelled a bunch, so now you've only got 50 characters and your game becomes less visible. So be careful with that because uh, Apple has started to be a little bit more strict with their keyword checks recently. Uh, we also added Facebook in the game. Uh, when the user actually finishes the game, uh, not on the iPad version, but on the iPhone version, uh, a pop-up says, hey, post your score to Facebook now. Um, and if they, if they post it, then they, it gets to go on their, on their wall and all their friends can see it. Uh, on the Android version, if you posted your score to Facebook, you actually unlocked the rocket launcher for a few play sessions. So that was really good. So you can reward the post to Facebook. Uh, and we actually have, uh, I popped it up here so we can see how many each day uh, we, how many players posted to their Facebook wall each day. Uh, this is through localytics.com, which is our statistics tracking uh, website, which we plug into the game. And so just as a rough example, on Sunday, November the 11th, 215 people uh, posted to their Facebook wall. Uh, 135 on Monday, and it's kind of gone down Tuesday, and this is today on, uh, uh, what are we on now? Wednesday the 14th. So that's, you know, that should make the game a little bit more viral. People are posting to their wall, they're seeing this cool, interesting icon. Um, the game, the, the name of the game looks kind of interesting as well, and hopefully their friends are also downloading it and, and checking it out as well. So it's increasing that sort of viral element to the game. So I definitely recommend putting Facebook in the game somehow, some way. Uh, the very basic one is just posting to the to the user's wall. Uh, the other one is, guys, do an iPad version, an iPad version of all your games, um, and do it as a separate product, a separate SKU. So we did this for Killer Shooting Sniper X. Is we released an iPhone version. And players can still play it on their iPad. You, you might have seen it when you click on, uh, you download an iPhone game and you click on times two and it goes to fill up the entire screen of the iPad. Uh, we also did an HD version, which is an iPad version. 
And those are two separate SKUs uh, on the market. So one is called Killer Shooting Sniper X and one is called Killer Shooting, Killer Shooting Sniper X HD. And we've used separate keywords for both of them as well. So that means we're actually getting more visibility into the market um, because we're using separate keywords. So definitely have an iPad version. Uh, all the other games that we, that we have as well inside of the market are also promoted through the games. Uh, and it's in a fairly prominent position here. It's actually on the right-hand side. And we do this for all our games, is put a link to all of your games somewhere in the game which is fairly prominent. Now, most companies do a, a More Games button. And if they click on the More Games button, then they'll see a list of their games. Uh, in my experience, the, the, the mass majority of players probably don't click on More Games to see their other games and then download them. Um, it's it you know so what we decided to do with this one is definitely make it more visible and we do this with all our X series by putting the icons here it it's not the best in terms of like they don't look right with the game because we've got colorful icons next to this this black and white menu screen uh, but to be honest I think if the player enjoys the game if they find it fun it's not a big problem uh, we're not sort of splashing it up in their face and saying hey do this you know, or ruining the game in any way. So I think it's okay to do that. Uh, what we'd probably do more in the future is make these icons animated or show show a, a, an interstitial ad, which is basically a full screen ad, which pops up every five times or something. Or it might be a recommendation. Uh, bear in mind though that uh, we wanted to, originally, we wanted players to download one of our other games on iPhone and you got rewarded, say, five or ten coins or you were rewarded with something. Uh, Apple actually stopped that and they said we couldn't do that because it would affect the ranking of, of, of um, it would be like we were gaming the App Store, so we, we couldn't do that. So just FYI, if you do recommend they download another game, you might not be able to uh, incentivize it. You can't give the player a, an item or coins for downloading your, one of your other games. But definitely make them prominent, guys. Make sure people know that you have other games and get them downloading. Uh, so, you know, just to sort of wrap this up and, and say a little bit more about you know what we want to do next is uh, it's l unlikely that we'll update this version of uh, Killer Shooting Sniper X on the iPhone. Um, the reason is that if, if uh, because we have a fairly good sort of rank and position at the moment because we can't secure a, as an independent developer it's hard for, for us to secure our position and when I say position I mean this rank here which is getting us our daily 1,000, 1,200 downloads. If we update the game, it, it could boost it, but if anything changes like the keywords or the name, or if we have any problem, this quickly would drop down. Uh, and so it's a risk for us. And so in this position, what we what we prefer to do is just sort of leave the game out there and we can't really update it because if we lose the, the, the keywords that we've got now, then that would be a problem for us and it, you know, uh, maybe it would be a problem for, for other independent developers out there as well. So just FYI guys, you know, if you are planning to do an update, just be careful because it's not just the content which, which makes it successful, it is also the visibility, the content, the app store optimization, which will really, uh, which can affect how many players download it. So just FYI. The, uh, we'll do a, a reskin. Possibly. So one of the ideas is to do Killer Shooting Sniper X, but change that to be something else. So different characters, different um, uh, different backgrounds, maybe some extra gameplay, something like this. And, and that's pretty normal, especially when you have um, uh, something that works well. So I think the company that did Smurfs Village also did a sort of reskin of their game for um, uh, Charlie Brown, I think. And it pretty much looks the same. And from what i quickly seen, it kind of plays the same as well. Uh, and they probably saved a lot of time doing that reskin as well, but players do enjoy it. So, uh, you know, I think definitely uh, focus on that. For example, the, uh, I think it was Newbie who did the game Japan Life. They've also done a very similar game called like Vegas Life. I think that was the name of it. And also something else, which is also like a city building, world building game. Uh, and so they've sort of repeated on their, on their previous success and they've, they've built on that. Uh, and that, that works well, you know, don't, don't, feel like oh I have to make something new or it's cheating if we're copying it you know you're not sort of just copying and then pasting it again if you are improving it or changing changing your artwork around a little bit or, or making more interesting gameplay then you know 
do that. Don't worry about sort of imitating your previous success. I, I would recommend it for sure. Um, and that sort of ties into this last point is once you find a successful model, guys, stick with it. Uh, it's okay if you're a small developer um, and you can experiment around a little bit or if you're a large developer but you have a small team of sort of experimental gameplay team or whatever you want to call it who can do different game mechanics and try to play with things and that's fine um, but if you're if you have a stable model and and you're you're trying to build in terms of like building up your revenue and building up your 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 profit prof profitability as a business then it's much wiser to repeat your success than going to unknown territory especially at the early stage where you have to start you know building up some stable revenue each month so definitely you know once you find a successful model, then repeat on it and, and improve it, which is what we'll try to do more with our studio cobble play games. So, uh, but for now, guys, I'm going to wrap up that video and I'm going to leave it at that. But I, I wanted to give this information on and, and focus on the business um, aspects more a little bit. So, because I'd seen some comments and you guys said, uh, I just read one before and they said, oh, please give us more business uh, videos. And, and so that was, that was really good feedback. Sorry, I don't remember your name right now, but I hope you found this useful and I wanna thank you for the comment as well. Uh, as always, guys, please check out our games. Uh, the biggest support that you can give us uh, you know, for, for our channel and also for our, our studio is to download the games and please rate them as well. Please rate them because the ratings are, it also affects the visibility and also other players will see it and check it out. Uh, so, you know, if you do give us a big star rating, then thank you very much. Uh, it's available on iPhone and iPad and it's free to download. So, but for now, guys, have a great, uh, have a great week. Um, hope you're enjoying the video so far and happy developing. Okay, bye.